Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. We know it was a last-minute call. It's a very busy time for all of us. Some of you are probably in the car driving from store to store or standing outside a store in a mall, and we want to thank you for taking this time. I know that nobody on this call will be disappointed with the information that you're about to receive. We felt it important to do it tonight because it's coming on the end of the year, and we want you all that are not on this product yet to make it a priority to start 2016 with the product in your hands so that you can move towards a healthier you in 2016. My name is Carolyn Johnson. I'm a, a Zango addict. I've been with Zango since 2002, or the beginning of 2003. And aside from the men's products, there's not a product with Zango that I don't take because Zango's products are mangosteen-based. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the mangosteen that are guests on this call tonight or new distributors, make sure you get with your, your sponsor to get more information. This product is amazing. It's changed millions of lives over the last 12, 13 years, and I am proud to represent a company that is committed and dedicated to toxin and chemical-free products that address different issues in our body to give us complete synergistic health. So with that, I want to introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Fred Templeman. Uh, Dr. Templeman, you're on the line. I want to take yes. a couple minutes, a few seconds, to introduce you properly. I met Dr. Templeman in 2003 at a, at a function, a 20K function, in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, <laughs> we always teased him because he had his black pants, black shirt, and flowing white hair. And we called him, you know, we, <laughs> we called him Kenny Rogers, remember? I do remember that. I actually signed some uh, autographs for that name. <laughs> it was great. And, you know, I don't want to short my introduction of Dr. Templeman. We've known each other for all these years and had some amazing times together and lots of deep conversations about this product. And I want to make sure that you understand the significance of the background that we are privileged to uh, be a part of with Dr. Templeman. You know, he's a primary, fair, uh, primary care physician, both certified in Canada and the United States with over 20 years of clinical experience. You know, he entered the medical school at the age of 36. He'd previously had a successful career in the Canadian diplomatic course, during which he was posted to third world countries in the Western Hemisphere and he was involved in the Canadian Foreign Aid Projects. Once Dr. Templeman became a physician, he started leading groups of students and medical volunteers back to the areas where he was previously posted in those third world countries, as well as other locations where volunteer medical services are needed. I don't think anybody knows the mango scene fruit better than Dr. Templeman I tell each one of the people that I know as they meet Dr. Templeman to start asking him to tell him some stories, I, they're hysterical. I love the one where he started to fall into the hole. In, I'll let him tell you that one. <laughs> and uh, in addition to that, you know, Dr. Templeman, uh, he loves to write. He's written several um, books on the mango scene as a food supplement. He also writes medical fiction. Now, to see a whole different side of Dr. Templeman, you want to get one of his books. Well, right. you can't read it if you're under 18. <laughs> yeah. I, thought, I had to look at the cover two or three times to make sure the name. <laughs> anyway, he's been a board member of several research companies, and he's active in the field of natural products. Dr. Templeman has never not been able to share information on any questions that we ask him. I, I find it amazing, but I also attribute that, Dr. Templeman, to your passion and your dedication to wellness and health for everyone. So thank you for joining us, and tonight Dr. Sh Dr. Templeman is going to share with us 
some really important information on ARIS. So, Dr. Tompelman, thank you. Welcome to the call. He, he's got 36 grandchildren that he's yeah. surrounded with for the holidays. So he's just a little busy. They want his time, don't they? Yes, they surely do. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Templeman, share what you would like to before, but then let's get right in to, to the three different products that the Eris line has. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, Carolyn, since we're going to be talking uh, in the bulk of what we say to this evening about uh, collagen, let's just do a real quick review about collagen. It is a uh, polypeptide, if you wish, a, a protein, because proteins are made up of amino acids in different chains. And in the case of uh, collagen, it is a fibril where there are actually chains of proteins that are wrapped around each other in a very special way. Uh, proteins play an extremely important role in the body uh, structurally. Without them, literally, we'd be nothing but uh, puddles of flesh on the floor. Because uh, even though there are 16 different varieties of collagen, tonight we're going to be talking about the one that composes 80% of all of the collagen by volume in our body, and that's called type 1 collagen. And uh, for example, in, in some structures of the body, such as skin, hair, nails, etc., it composes 90% of these structures. So it really is extremely important, uh, but it is also the primary collagen of muscles, ligaments, tendons, and bones. And like I said, without this kind of structure, we uh, would not at all look the same way we do. Now, with regard to skin, because we're going to be talking first about the Eris Eye Gel and Eris uh, Cream products, take a look at this uh, slide if you have access to it, and you can see the difference between younger skin and older skin in that diagrammatic format, where you literally see a very different uh, thickness of the upper layers of the skin in youth compared to older skin. You know that when you, everybody likes to pinch babies and they do it because the kind of little bounce back that you get from young flesh like that is exciting to see. And especially if you're older, you certainly can't do that with yourself. Uh, I, I went to the gym the other day with uh, my seven-year-old grandson and he looked at me and said, Grandpa, why do your legs look like maps? And uh, he wasn't the only one that made a comment. I had uh, another grandson with me, and we were looking at some pictures of me from my youth and uh, from the time that I graduated from medical school. And he was younger and a little bit less credulous than uh, the other child. And uh, he, I said, you know, take a look here. And, and then look, I, he looked at me and he said, that's not you. I said, yeah, it really is me. It was me when you didn't know me. Uh, but it really is me. And so he looked at the pictures and then stared at me and then reached up. And, of course, everybody at my age has a little bit of loose skin underneath the uh, chin. So he reached up and he grabbed that, and then he tugged a little bit at my face. And he said, Grandpa, you're melting. <laughs> and uh, I thought, you know, what, what an apt way of describing what happens to us in the aging process when there is damage over long periods of time from uh, free radicals? These may be generated by excessive exposure to sun. They may be the product of the toxins which we encounter in the environment. Uh, they may be the result of the way we eat. Uh, certainly people who smoke, for example, are exposed to a greater onslaught of free radicals and it isn't hard to see that with smokers uh, their skin looks very different. They appear chronologically older than they literally are. And uh, so it becomes really important to note that this process mm -hmm. is most visible in the skin. But as we're going to talk about later, it's not only the skin that we are concerned with because it isn't only in skin that we're going to find collagen playing a key role. Now, as we age, our appearance becomes extremely important to us. 
And the earliest signs of aging appear around the eyes because of the very nature of the structures that surround the eyes themselves. The eyes are packed, if you wish, in, uh, in fatty tissue so that if there is trauma to the eye, there's a cushion to it. Uh, and trauma like that happens usually on a sports field or something of that nature. So younger people have more of this ability to absorb blows to the, the globe than uh, those of us are older. But as time hits the structural collagenous matrix that holds that fat in place, and as gravity, which is the other major culprit in the changes of aging in our body, begins to pull down, that fat loosens, comes down out of the back of the orbit, and begins to literally puddle, almost like melting, below the eyes. In some individuals, as the circulation in this area becomes a little bit more uh, inefficient, there is a leaking out of the colored aspects of the hemoglobin byproducts, and you can get bluish, dark uh, circles in that same area. And these are things that nobody is happy to see happen. Additionally, and the skin that surrounds the eyes, because if you think about the eyes, they probably are the part of the body along with the heart that moves more often than any place else. Now, the heart uh, is not visible to us, but we know it's working. We can feel its effects. If you think about it, eyes are closing every second or so as they try to take in and they're functionally moving and also necessarily being able to maintain that little film of liquid that is across the, glo the globe. So therefore, they're moving all of the time too, and so that's where wrinkles first appear. And when you're in the business of trying to help people to age more gracefully, and that is part of what Zango tries to do, then you are going to try and produce products that will help assist with this very early stage of aging. Now, I remember that I was talking not recently, uh, but a little while ago, with someone who uh, was African American. And they said to me, you know, uh, I'm really in my 40s, but take a look at my eyes. I just don't have any wrinkles. And that's true. There are some races, the Asiatic folks and uh, people uh, who are of African origin, they really have bodies that were structured, if you wish, to uh, uh, resist exposure to the sun's effects on skin a little bit more effectively than others. But I said to him, you know, you may be lucky enough not to have a whole lot of wrinkles right now, but believe me, you're going to have them. So whether you're in your 40s or whether you're Caucasian and you're in your late 20s to early 30s, wrinkles are going to eventually become a fact of life. And if you're thinking about these products, don't think about them only as remedial things, something that you take in order to try and regain some of the lost ground after the aging process in Caucasians, which begins uh, in the skin uh, with them in their late 20s, uh, don't think of it only as remedial. Think of it as preventative. I, I just wish that in the years that I'd worked with folks who were going to suffer cataclysmic uh, you know, events from their circulatory system, that they would have listened to me and changed their diet and changed their activity profiles because as the plaque builds up in their arteries and as the chronic inflammation uh, plays its role in their bodies, uh, they may not be aware of that at all. And uh, the first uh, signal of it may be a stroke or a heart attack because there are changes that are going on and no one is exempt from the process of aging. We all want to do it as gracefully as possible. And that's why Zango came to the conclusion that they needed to have something out there. But they knew that they probably wouldn't be wise to leap into the arena with the very first of these products, which really entered with a, a lot of fanfare. 
because along with the good results which people got from eye gel type preparations and the, uh, the temporary relief in a very striking way of the, the crow's feet uh, and fine wrinkles around the eyes, there was also unfortunately more than 30% of the people having adverse reactions because of the elements that were in there. And so Zango sat back and watched what was happening and watched the science evolve. For example, let me give you an idea that there were studies that were done about whether supplemental collagen uh, taken in by mouth would make a difference to the skin. And the truth was that yes, there were studies done and they were comparative and they looked at uh, mammalian collagen from pigs and from, uh, from cattle, bovine collagen. And they looked at uh, a little bit less uh, studied with the chicken collagen. But they also compared that to the marine collagen. And they found that the hydrolyzed marine collagen, the, the amino acid profile, from the marine collagen appeared to be more effective at making changes in skin. And so the decision was made, even though marine collagen is more expensive than bovine collagen and porcine collagen, that there were several advantages. One of them was this literal result of studies which showed uh, more effect. The second was that there are uh, a lot of things that mammals share, including disease. And while you might be pretty good at getting rid of most bacteria, viruses are a whole lot more difficult to eradicate. And uh, the mad cow disease, for example, is something that we really have no way of knowing uh, whether it's present or not. So there were uh, safeguards that were built into the idea that you might be using marine collagen rather than collagen from other mammals where possible transmission of disease that was uh, subliminal so that you wouldn't be able to see it uh, would be possible. And so they came up with an eye gel that was really a third generation eye gel. The first generation eye gels, uh, most of them have already been modified. Some still exist and are out there and some companies are uh, toddling along with a 30% adverse effect rate. But I don't think that's the best way to go, neither did Zangle. And so they had their instant eye gel come into the marketplace much after the others, and they avoided some of the toxic components. They were able to, they had to use some of the silicates. There was no way around that. And uh, occasionally, if the application of this is not done correctly, mm -hmm. then after a few hours, you can get a little bit of whitening in the area and lightening. Now, for the, those of you where you may have experienced this, a spritzer. Uh, a little thing you didn't carry in your purse. And I, I personally, when I use it, and I've seen that and I've talked to people, I use the little toner that comes with the, the glimpse. But plain ordinary water spritzed on it, uh, don't, not touch with the fingers afterwards, will completely eliminate that whiteness and give you back many hours of the effect because you haven't disturbed the surface. Now, we've already talked to the company and asked them to see whether they couldn't help us with a few videos about exactly how to do it because there are about four wrong ways and about two right ways to put it on so that you will not have that as a side effect. But as far as allergic side effects are concerned, Zango won that battle. There just isn't the same kind of worry or concern with the side effects of this eye gel. Now, the eye renewal concentrate is even more striking because the eye renewal concentrate that Zango decided to put out on the market not only was a third or fourth generation where a lot of the toxins had been taken out, so we have something that's a lot better for the body, but we also learned what worked and what didn't work quite as well. And so in addition to the antioxidants, they have what they call AMP technology. So they have antioxidants. And in there, for example, they put beetroot and monk fruit and mangosteen and astragalus and lisi berry, eucomia, romania. These are things that you can look at on the box as ingredients. And if you're interested, go to Wikipedia and look them up and you'll be able to see the uh, evidence when you can then go to PubMed and check out some of these studies that have been done with this. 
But they have those antioxidants there also, some of them micronutrients, but usually when you talk micronutrients, you're talking about the vitamins that are there, and they have vitamin C and calcium in there because it's so important in the formulation of uh, collagen that you're putting it in. They also have in that, uh, that a lot of the competitors certainly do not have, they mm -hmm. have glucosamine. And glucosamine is something that, as we know, is taken into the body and stimulates the body to make a substance that is perhaps the best emollient that the body has, the best lubricating agent. If you want to think of it, you can think of it as uh, D5W for the body. I hope that on D5W it's... it's an intravenous fluid. I don't mean that. I mean WD-40 uh, for the body. Because the uh, hyaluronic acid, uh, which is also present in the preparation that uh, Zango put together finally, that is more expensive than gold by weight. So it wasn't really a question of trying to, to cheap this onto the market. Uh, they used the marine collagen, which is more expensive. They added the uh, glucosamine, the hyaluronic acid, which are high-end elements, as are the astragalus and the mangosteen, et cetera, because they were interested in having a product that when people used it properly over time, they were going to start seeing some of the difference, differences. And clinically, uh, the two eye preparations uh, do make a difference. So certainly the one you can see immediately, it's a cosmetic effect. But the eye renewal concentrate will work over time. So that we give it to its proper due, it's got to be about three months. And then you're going to see the filling in of some of the fine lines and wrinkles. You will see some of that pigmentation will be picked up and carried away. Uh, it is chelated in a, in a way that doesn't happen overnight, but it goes on in the process, gradually does make a difference that most people can appreciate. There are another a couple of elements that are in this eye renewal concentrate that nobody else has. And they are things which signal to the body through a transdermal effect that the area around the eyes is under construction. The body pays attention to areas where there are signals given to it that something has gone wrong immediately. And they send out the troops, they send out the hyaluronic acid, they begin to send out some of the structural components that are required to rebuild collagen, for example. And they do this more effectively when there is something signaling molecules that are saying, this is an area we want you to pay attention to. So as far as I'm concerned, the eye renewal constant, uh, concentrate and the instant eye gel are products that most women are going to see the immediate intrinsic value for. Now, why do I say most women? I doubt strongly that uh, most men are going to start paying attention to their face when they haven't done it for 30 years and uh, are just not into the habit. You know, men scrape mm -hmm. their faces on a daily basis and they wash them, and pretty much that's all that they do. So when it becomes to the, the time when they should be caring for their skin in a different way by applying things, that's a whole new behavioral curve for a lot of men to get around. And that's why I want to talk next about something which I feel very strongly about, and that's the Aris product that is the, the collagen preparation that is liquid, the powder, you put it in, put it in. You can mix it with other things. When I go to the gym every day, I mix it with Reload and Ignite. And uh, there is, in my mind, no harm to doing that because I certainly have begun to notice the difference. Now, does that mean that people are stopping me on the street and saying, Dr. Templeman, your eyes look different? No, they're not, because that's not where I'm noticing the major differences. Let's take a look uh, at the next slide, if you wouldn't mind, Sandy. Can we throw up that other one? Oh, this is a slide that I, I thought was going to appear earlier. But take a look at competitor A. They were the first ones into the market in our particular slot. And uh, you can see that when you look at the ingredients and the details of the uh, mm -hmm. ingredients that are in there, they haven't done very well. Now, Zango learned 
from the experience of this guy and a number of other people in the marketplace, came out with a lot more things to make a difference. But some people just don't learn. And competitor B, without being named, only put their product on the market recently after Zangles has been out for a while. But whether their scientists were asleep at the switch or whether they just maybe are not that diligent, I don't know why, but take a look at the number of check marks that they have compared to the Zangle product. Now, Sandy, throw up the other things for me. The next slide, if you wouldn't mind. Remember that I've talked to you about the fact that collagen is everywhere in the body, and that without it, we'd be puddles of flesh on the floor. Now, when you start to see a difference around your eyes, getting a signal that aging is occurring, what you're not seeing, for example, is that the effect of gravity, which you can see with the skin and tissues around your eyes, is going on perhaps even more inside where you can't see anything. Now look at this, uh, for those of you who aren't squeamish, take a look at this dissected portion looking at the uh, digestive system. And there you'll see in the breakdown of the actual gut itself how important collagen is in that muscular structure that must be pulsing virtually all the time in order to be able to process the food and the nutrients that we require. But I want you to look at the large colon. I want you to look at the large bowel, the colon, for example. It goes transversely from just under the liver on the right side of that body, and it comes across to the other side. Now, I, I did a couple of uh, pathology electives when I was in school, and for me, it was very noticeable that if you dissected a young person who had died in an accident, then the structures of the bowel, which are all muscular, but which are held in a mesh, so to speak, of collagen in order to be kept structurally there, it was nice and clear that the, the uh, what's called the transverse colon went in a relatively straight line across. Now, when uh, we dissected people who were in their 60s and 70s, guess where that colon was? It was hanging down to the level of the umbilicus. And what are the complaints that people have as aging? Well, my bowels just don't seem to do the work the way they did before. And one of the serious problems of aging is the fact that bowel motility usually slows down and people end up with difficulties evacuating as, as effectively as they would like and constipation and the, the outpouching of the bowels that take place with diverticulosis, all those things are there. So we're aging in our structures. Let's go to the next slide. Internally, even as our skin changes. Next slide. Here's the cardiovascular system. Remember I told you I just wish I'd been able as a doctor to convince people to do things that were going to be preventive so that I wouldn't be losing my patients and my friends to massive heart attacks which were uh, fatal right away or having them have strokes. Look at how the arteries particularly are structured so that collagen is the most important element in that. Veins to a lesser degree, but nonetheless collagen all over the place and right down to the very smallest of the blood vessels where the exchange takes place, waste goes in and nutrients come out the capillaries. Collagen is there. It may not be affected by sunlight, but it certainly is affected by the degeneration that takes place in the collagenous structures that support the uh, system of getting blood to all parts of our body. And when we pay attention to this, we will be aging more gracefully. Can we throw up another slide, Sandy, please? Here's the one that I really am getting the most uh, 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 feedback from the field from. Remember that my, my job uh, in considerable part is to be ready as a resource for you. Uh, Zangle pays me to do this. I don't know of another company in the marketplace. As a matter of fact, I don't know of a whole lot of companies where uh, you can send an email in and ask a question to a doctor and within 24 hours or 48 hours, depending on how lazy I am, 
I will get back to you with a telephone call or an email and try and address the concerns that you have relative to how supplementation may be applicable. That's something that I just haven't seen another company do, and I think it's unique and uh, very valuable, and I would encourage you to make use of the fact that your company keeps me on a retainer so that I can do that regardless of whether I'm over in Asia uh, where I do most of the research, or whether I'm here in the United States, they will uh, look after the connections that I require and the <laughs> impetus for me to want to be able to do this to you. But look at the musculoskeletal system. Collagen is absolutely virtually everything when we talk about muscles, bones, and tendons or ligaments. Ligaments, uh, tendons are, are specialized uh, ligaments in a sense. But they anchor themselves to the bones, to the structure of the body, and they permit the movement of muscles. When you pay attention to the exercise that is required to maintain optimal health, and you are providing to your body the building blocks that your body needs to repair and maintain this particular structure, you get the kind of emails that I am getting now from people, mostly men, by the way, but from people who have been using the collagen supplement orally and who are saying to me spontaneously, without me prompting them, guess what? I had chronic tendonitis for years in my elbow. And now I'm noticing that the interventions I used to make, I had modified my exercise program. I was wearing a, a structure that I would strap on my forearm every time I went out to do any kind of exercise. Now I don't need those kinds of things. And, uh, you know, it was interesting. I started to get those maybe four months, three, three or four months, about a month or two into the use of this collagen preparation. Now, I was a little bit, and I am, a little bit loose on the, the kind of regimen that I maintain for myself with supplements when I'm at home because my life is disordered. I, I told Carolyn earlier in the day that I was back home, I have 36 grandkids, they're out of school, and as a result, my life is not my own. Some of them slept over last night. They were here at 6 o'clock in the morning, up and going, and I was tobogganing and in stores and restaurants uh, all day. So uh, it's harder for me when I'm here to maintain things. But when I'm traveling or at my research sites, uh, I have a much more ordered day. And so for me, it's been about three months that I have been using the collagen on a daily basis. And guess what? I started to get some of these emails talking to me about chronic tendonitis, and I thought, son of a gun, that's why I can sleep with my arm under my pillow and not wake up in the night with a jab of pain when I try and change positions. Like has been happening to me for the past six years since I've been in the gym five times a week. That was something that I had upped my dose of juice for, that I had been, I purchased a little H-Wave uh, electrical stimulator for it. I refused to take the shots that my physician friends uh, suggested that I should be taking in order to make a difference. And here it was, pretty much gone. And I had not even thought that it was the, the collagen preparation. But there was no other change. In fact, since the pain has been gone, I'm exercising more vigorously in the resistance exercises that I do on a daily basis. So does this help everywhere? Theoretically, absolutely it can. And I've got men who may not notice the changes around their eyes signaling to me that guess what? I've got a little bit fewer complaints as far as my digestion is concerned and certainly many less regarding musculoskeletal system uh, complaints as well. So is there value for people to use all of these products? Absolutely. Will some of them be more attractive than all of them to other groups? Certainly. Should people be using them, in my opinion, to prevent the development of visual aging? Absolutely. 
Should they be using them to prevent the development of invisible aging? Absolutely. Frankly, I think these are wonderful additions to the SKUs that the company has, and I recommend this strongly to people who are interested in changing the appearance of aging and those who are interested equally in changing things that you don't see. Here's the nervous system. Collagen, 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 all over the place. And I had some changes in some numbness that I'd had in my uh, right foot. Uh, I don't know whether I can attribute it to that because I think it actually started. Now, I, I was believing that it was the ageless because we've had many reports of some changing and tingling and peripheral neuropathies with the ageless, ageless product. But is supplementation necessary? Absolutely. Do we need to change our diets positively? Should we be exercising appropriately all of our lives if you want to feel good and stay healthy? Absolutely. So that's what I have to say about it. Well, Dr. Templeman, I, okay, there's so much good stuff there, I don't know where to start, but I do want to just summarize a couple of things to emphasize a few things that you said during the call. We sure. talked about some of these um, different groups of people that are fortunate enough to not necessarily have wrinkles appear as early as many of the rest of us. But it does not mean, if I understand you correctly, it does not mean that their bodies are still producing full collagen. Well, let's, let's put it this way. When you take a look at the skin appearance of the aging in certain racial groups, you do and can clearly see that generally they're not struck with the same prematurity that the Caucasian race. But when you take a look at some of the circulatory complications that uh, come along with inelastic arteries and hypertension and the, uh, the subsequent development of strokes and heart attacks, they have a less favorable profile. So aging is taking place visibly and invisibly. It's taking place in all of our organ systems and whether it's our skin that's affected first in our particular racial selection or it's the internal aspect of aging that may be taking place elsewhere, it is important to address the fact of change to the degree that you can with supplementation. Okay, I appreciate that. And then we did talk about the eye gel. We'll We'll share more on that later, as you said. We're anxious to get some, some videos on that. I do know, uh -huh. for example, that I have learned how to put it on, and um, if I do get any, by the time I'm finished with my morning regimen, it's gone, and I don't need yep. to deal with it for the rest of the day. So yep. we're going to get videos on that and from people like Aria Jackson, who taught me how to put on my mineral powder in a whole new way that has made a dramatic change for me in just two weeks. So very exciting. And then, of course, my favorite, which we've talked about several times, is the collagen drink. Now, I, I'm moving into my sixth month on the collagen because I was part of the experiment group way back. And I, at the beginning, had to take pictures to see the difference to make sure that there was a difference myself. Today, I don't need to do that. I absolutely can see the difference in my skin tone, in the tuning of my arms, my hands, and of course you and I, I've shared my story with the ligaments in my shoulder that's totally 100% gone. So um, I, I love the collagen. I tell people, if you do nothing else, drink the collagen. <laughs> Would yeah. you agree with I, that? Amen. Absolutely. If I forget my eye uh, compound, and I do sometimes, yeah. uh, I don't go around worrying. But yeah, I don't <laughs> because I'm convinced of the value of it. I don't forget the collagen drink. Right. And so for me, it was the joint pain. It was waking up in the yeah. middle of the night every time I turned over with pain because of the the shoulder problem that I was having. And I uh, I don't have that pain anymore. I mean it's went away, started to go away after about four or five or six weeks, but now it's, it's a distant memory, and, yeah, and yeah. I love that. And I've heard that from other people, too. 
We've talked about uh, comments. Dozens of emails. Pardon me? Dozens of emails about that, Carolyn. Dozens of reports of similar effects with others. Correct. And the same with the things that we talked about when I said somebody with lupus wanted to know, does it help with lupus? And, and um, just the overall disease, I'm sure it's got to be helpful in any area of your life. I'm not saying it's going to get rid of anything. I'm simply saying that through what you've said tonight, um, well, we, where ligaments and joints are involved, uh, a, there is going to be a degeneration process with chronic illness of that nature. And anything you can do to give the body the chance to slow that process mm -hmm. down or sometimes remediate it, why wouldn't you? Right. Is there, is there a time of day? Now, I always take mine before I eat in the morning. And I know you can take it any time of day, but is there an optimum time to take it? Just curious. And can you take it with other things without... without uh... in, in my opinion, there is no detrimental mix. In other words, whether it's okay. mixed with food, uh, whether it's not. Uh, one of the reasons, many of the things that we suggest as supplements need to go in with food because that's when the body turns its attention to absorption in the gut. But amino acids are different. Amino acids are so important to the body, they're the most important kind of structural elements that there are, that even if you take this on an empty stomach, you're going to get an immediate uh, response from the gut, and there will be good absorption. It does not need to be taken with food in order to be useful to the body. Okay, so if, so, and so if somebody wants to take it at night with their collagen or at the same mix it or whatever, it's okay. Yeah, I, I have no reason to believe that any of those practices would diminish the effect. Okay. What about, have you heard anything about rheumatoid arthritis? Well, uh, the fact is that rheumatoid arthritis is a severe autoimmune disease. And I know that from the, the studies that we have right now, anybody with that should be using the juice. There just is too much. One paper that came out several months ago directly addressing the kind of inflammation that exists in rheumatoid arthritis. Now, again, these are preclinical studies. They're not human studies. and doesn't allow us to be able to say, if you've got rheumatoid arthritis, use the juice so that it will make your symptoms go away or cure your problems. We can't say that. that the right. evidence is not that strong. But when you take a look at the elements of rheumatoid arthritic inflammation in Petri dishes and test tubes and animals, uh, yeah, there appears to be enough evidence there. And again, as I've said before, we're not recommending these things as cures. They're not medicines. They don't work in the same way. But the kind of evidence that is required to talk about cure and treatment is not the same level of evidence that is required to say, why not make a nutritional trial intervention? Okay, awesome. Well, I'm going to ask you one more question. I know we've gone over our time, but you've just given us so much that uh, I know we're going to have you back on again um, every five to six weeks, if possible, especially when you're in the sure. country. We get better recordings. But I did yep. get one question, the, um, and I, I want to make a comment on this, the marionette, marionette lines around your mouth uh -huh. that go from your yeah, – yeah. the question was asked – would this product help? Well, you know, the process that it has that's different than other products is that transdermally it signals to the body, please pay attention to this area. But interestingly enough, for the lines around the mouth, let me counsel you to look after your dental health because the association between gum disease and lines around the mouth is extremely strong. You should be brushing, and ideally with an electronic brush, you should be brushing about three times longer than it takes you to clean the, the uh, debris off your teeth in order to stimulate the gums because we just don't manage to maintain gum integrity as we age the way that young people do. And one of the ways of doing this is to actually brush your gums fairly vigorously 
and make certain afterwards that you rinse with either mangosteen or with a mouthwash because you will disturb the integrity. There will be a little bit of bleeding in the initial period of time that you do this. But look after your teeth and your gums and the skin around the mouth will be directly affected. Mm -hmm. That's a good point, very good point. I, I can tell you that going on six months, I have definitely noticed a difference in the uh, increase of um, uh, that drooping that we tend to get when we get more mature. Yeah. And yeah. Um, actually, I uh, was speaking to a doctor the other day that walked into the guy, into the little room where my hairdresser was working on me, and she was amazed and actually uh, wants to have a consultation with you after the first of the year. Because I, I don't think she really... <laughs> believed everything I told her because she said that's just not you know at your age she said that's unbelievable so well you know I I am a medical director of a couple of clinical uh, medical health spas and the reason for that is when I went in there to talk with them uh, and we were discussing things and some of the products that I was recommending to them uh, they said, hey, uh, we really want you closer by for questions and answers. And that's where I give a great deal of the advice that I give. One of the other things that I would say to people worried about lines around your mouth, smile more. Exactly. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. absolutely. Dr. Templeman, I am so thankful to you for uh, giving us this time and uh, taking you away from what thirty six grandchildren, eleven <laughs> children and, <laughs> and a wife, and who knows how many others because you probably have no clue how many people are in your house and uh, oh, very often yeah and i I wish you a, an extremely merry, merry Christmas to you and everybody on the phone and Sandy Cohen, thank you so much for helping us with this call. I appreciate it. I want to share one more thing with you. The company is having a special on collagen. Three boxes, which would normally be $240 because they're $70 a piece, $150. That's almost buy two, get one free. That's 90 days for three months of product that you will know with no uncertain terms at the end of three months what's working for you, or how it's working for you, or the changes that you're going to feel, or what an amazing opportunity to start yourself, or if you're already on it, yourself and two others, or three people that you love for a very small amount of money to get them on a product that could dramatically change their health. Order it from Zango. It's a special through the end of the month. I can't believe it's this kind of a special uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful. Everybody, have a merry, merry Christmas and a great New Year's. Um, and Dr. Templeman, thank you again. And thank you, everyone, oh. for joining us. Good night.